people who are educated are not very much appreciated in the society we live in because they know things you don't know and they're not about to take part in what you're doing because they know better. And so if they're not taking part in what you do and what you live in, then you don't like them. They're not like you. So therefore you turn against them because you don't support them. You don't have anything to do with them. Why? Because you don't like them. They're not like you. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's why the politicians know that. Politicians realize give the people what they want and they will support you. Tell them what they want to hear and they will like it and then they will support you. If you tell them the truth, they're not only not going to support you, you may be assassinated. You may wake up one morning and find out you've been killed because you know too much and you're causing too many problems among the people. The national leaders are not appreciative of you trying to wake the people up. They don't want the people woken up. That's what we've been feeding them, alcohol and drugs and movies and entertainment and ball games and all the rest of this crap. We've been trying to keep the people occupied and stupid and ill-informed and unread. Purposely, we designed a school system that does not only not teach people, but it actually keeps you stupid. And so that's why uh, Bert, Bert, Bertrand Russell said many years ago, if you want to be if you want to be wise and intelligent, go to the library and sit and read. If you want to be stupid, go to go to school. They'll, they'll teach you what stupidity is. You'll come out and you won't even know you know you won't understand nothing when you come out of school. Why? Because we've designed the school to do just that. We designed it to make sure that if you go to school, you'll come out ignorant, ill-informed, unread, dim-witted. And totally confused. That's what we do in school. Unless there's an individual that comes into the picture who doesn't want to go with the regular crowd. He doesn't want to follow the crowd. He wants to do his own thinking. Well, that's mm. the kind of person that gets in trouble. We don't want you on this company. We don't want you in this company. Yeah, we want a team player. This is a citizenship. And we run a tight ship. And so... We want you to be a team player. You go along to get along. You get it, mate? Oh, of and course. So, and, and the interesting yeah. thing is, you know, when, when you speak out of school, <laughs> right, uh, it usually means you said something you shouldn't have and you said something that you didn't know anything about you weren't supposed to say. Uh, you know, it's an interesting thing. Or you knew thing. too much. Or you knew too much. That's the interesting part about that. But when I hear the word school, I got to tell you, Jordan, I, I also, everything seems to go back to water which is another thing, too. You know, we, we talked about the sun and that being the essential life, but <clears throat> water is another one. Uh, there, there's nothing on this a planet which lives that doesn't require water in one way or another, right? That's right. And there's uh, virtually nothing on this planet that doesn't contain water in some way or other. That's uh, right. You know, so water is important, too. And here's the thing about the school. When I hear the word school, what do I think of is big collectives of fish, which, you know, they do swim in the same direction. And, look, a school of piranha is pretty scary, yes, indeed. But a school of bluefish, kind of dumb, and they bite each other even because they see shiny things in the water, and it's really just that way. But, you see, a school of fish means that, yeah, there there, there are some fish at the, at the head of that school, if you will, the head of that class, and they might see exactly which direction everybody's going in. Mm -hmm. um, but the majority of the... <laughs> fish in the school of fish and that's literally what a grouping you know very much like a, a, a grouping of crows is a murder uh you know sheep or a herd uh you know so on and so forth right um that's precisely right and that's why we are called fish because we bet you bought into something you bet and so we're fish mm -hmm. and that's why we go to school and school goes back to a jewish word shul right and shul is a meeting place for the Jews and their worshipers, the shul or school. And so the, our school system is the educational system is to make sure you stay stupid. And if you start asking too many questions in college, you are kicked out. I don't care how much money you paid. You're out of here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're causing all the other students who are happy drinking their beer and going to the sex parties and watching their football games 
you're causing the students to become concerned and start asking questions. And now we got problems in the class. We got problems with too many school kids asking too many questions that we can't answer. We don't want to answer. And you're the one that's causing them to wake up and ask these questions. So we don't want to hear from you anymore. We've had enough of you. So you're kicked out or thrown in the jail or you'll lose your license to be a doctor if you're telling people things they're not supposed to know. And so people who want to do something to help their fellow man, in today's world, you will go to prison and you will probably be taken out. You'll probably be removed from the world. The majority, and I do mean the overwhelming majority of the fish in the school, uh, again, do not see anything except the tail of the fish in front of them. That's I right. mean, that that's how how much more of a metaphor do you need? Uh, <laughs> you know, for the word, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you, Jordan, obviously, you've, you've got a million of these sorts of observations, but it's just to me that this is the one that stands out. And I think it's a fair one to to mention that uh, when it comes to school and being in a school that that is very much like those fish all grouped together who only a very few even have an idea where it's going. Only yep. a very few know anything that's actually happening because in front and behind the rest of them is another fish. And like I said, even if they're even if they've got their eyes open, all they're seeing is the tail end of a fish just like them. That's so. exactly right. And that's why we say if you're not the lead dog, for you the scene never changes. Mm. You don't know where you're going. You just follow the other dog's butt in front of you. You don't know where you're going. Just keep walk. Just keep. Pounding, pounding the pavement, running like all the other dogs, and follow the lead dog. The lead dog is the one that's seeing in the future. He's out in the front, and so all you have to do as a dog is just follow. Just whatever, wherever the lead dog goes, that's where you go. Mm. Because if you're not the lead dog, for you the scene will never change.